Brian, this storm quickly strengthened as anticipated, but we've still got a long ways to go for Hurricane Lee. Yeah, even faster than anticipated, uh, Amy. It's a little stronger than it was forecast to be, but the same idea. Uh, today, the thunderstorms are wrapped around the center, and boy, once that happens, then it's like a well-oiled machine, and now it's uh, kind of good to go over very warm water and, and increasingly conducive atmospheric conditions. And it is now explicitly um, forecast to be a Category 5 here uh, when it peaks out here in a couple days. We'll look at that in a second. As you said, the key thing here is west-northwest, so it's got that northerly component on it, confidence now that the system is going to stay well north of the Caribbean islands and just fringe effects there, especially uh, in the ocean and near the beaches. Let's look at close up on this thing, and you can see what happened today. Look at how the, as you see, it goes right there, right, right there, wrapping around. See those thunderstorms kind of wrap around the center? When that happens, you get all all this air rushing up into the atmosphere that pulls more air in below and now we've got it really clicking and so all expectations are it will just continue to intensify and the eye will completely clear out now we can clearly see the eye but it's not uh, totally clear at this point so there we have the category 2 hurricane and here is the brand new cone just in from the national hurricane center you see that by tomorrow morning forecast to be 150 mile an hour category 4 and then up to 160 mile an hour category five northeast of the islands now the main thing is here when it's super strong all through this period it's super strong but it's putting energy from the north to the south against the islands there so this is going to be dangerous along any of the beaches and the onshore flow the north facing flow i shouldn't say onshore flow north facing facing uh, flow uh, of the ocean coming in with that energy put in there by that uh, incredible hurricane it's forecast thankfully to stay north of land then if you notice these lines here here the distance between them there and then less and less and less that's an indication of the system slowing down over the weekend into early next week in this area here waiting for a dip in the jet stream to come and pick it up and pull it on up to the north very high confidence in this track because almost every model except for the uk met has been this outlier here all along but the the every other model including the consensus model right down the middle of the cone well offshore of the islands even the uk met keeps it offshore just a little bit uh, closer that's been consistent with that model i don't know exactly why that is then when we look at the track confidence what are called the ensemble models where the, what we do here or what they do is vary how it starts and then see how different it is what this tells us is the weather pattern is very well established uh, everything stays within the cone so very very high confidence unusually high confidence that this storm is going to behave well there's where the uh, model this is the, the fox model keeps the winds you see there's plenty of gap here but the islands right up here st martin uh, anguilla um, St. Bart's, so forth. They're going to be a little bit closer. We may have some gusty squalls, but uh, the main issue is going to be the energy from the wind pushing south and putting very high energy surf, dangerous surf, and elevating the surf all along those uh, islands. So let's uh, take a look at the, uh, uh, the forecast. And this is where they went Category 5. Look at this. They have now explicit Category 5 forecast. This one here down here, this is the Navy model. It's been doing very poorly this year so we're going to ignore that all of the computer uh, simulations all up there in a category four and now category five strength so again lots of confidence all right how about the future what's going to happen next well we even have much more confidence than yesterday that this is going to turn north now obviously in bermuda going to have to be uh, very vigilant here for the possibility of a strong storm there but notice it turns north well off the bahamas there is this one outlier kind of outrigger out here but we're going to ignore that one because this is the kind of thing where you look at the consensus and the consensus is this is going to turn north well offshore of the u.s coast 
but this is going to put a tremendous amount of energy. So we're going to be st start talking tomorrow and into the weekend about what's going to happen along the U.S. coast in terms of ocean effects, because this is going to raise the ocean and put tremendous amount of energy scouring beaches and uh, things like that that are not going to be good. So we'll talk about that as we get a little closer and a little better understanding of what's going to happen. Here's the weather pattern. And what you see here is high pressure up here is driving Lee in this direction. We still have Exodalia there, which thankfully is in place, and it's kind of eroded the nose on this high enough to lift Lee to the north over top of the islands, above the islands. If uh, that, if Adalia and the remnants of Adalia hadn't been up there, the high would have been farther uh, west, and this would have gone farther west. But as we look forward in time, here comes the hurricane, and notice this high pressure, this kind of double-barreled high pressure kind of blocks it there for a while. That's why it's stalls and what we're waiting for is this dip in the jet stream to come along here that's over the U.S. and kind of pick it up and move it out. Finally, that's happening here when we get into that Thursday, Friday time period. The highs separate and there's a path to the north up in here and it looks like Odds are it will be to the west Bermuda, but that may put Bermuda on the strong side of the storm. It will be weakening some at that time, but it's still expected to be a large and a dangerous hurricane and putting a tremendous amount of energy uh, into the ocean all along the beaches. This is going to be a dangerous late week and early weekend on the even the northeast and New England beaches for any kind of activity near the water or boating. So we're going to say we're going to watch the ocean effects, especially North Carolina to England, but dangerous East Coast beaches all the way down the, the U.S. coast and into the Bahamas, and even some effects Puerto Rico and the surrounding islands. And of course, everybody in Bermuda needs to stay alert. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.